Hello everybody and welcome to Hickory Hill Farm. My name is Daniel Dorn and I'm going to be showing y'all today a little bit more about our dairy farm and what we do here. Uh, the thing that I want to show y'all today is our flush system that we use to clean out the barn every day. We do this about five or six times a day. Even at night we, do, we flush as well. So here we go. I'm going to show you what we do. So the first thing we'll do is we'll come over here. We've got our big flush tank right here that holds 30,000 gallons of water. Uh, the water can come out through that pipe down there in the bottom and then up under these mats there and there we have our flush valves that'll pop up out of the ground. You can see a lane down through there, down through the barn with the rubber mats. That is one of the flush lanes. We'll be flushing and cleaning that out, and then there's another one on this side, too. And the cows, they'll stand there. It doesn't really bother them when you flush. The water runs under their feet, and they don't really mind it. So what we'll do right here, we have a switch that uh, coordinates to each side here. So the first switch I'll do is our left switch right here. And you can see the water starts coming out from under there. Now this is a fluent water. It gets reused. And that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about the whole loop of the flush system. about a minute or so, or a little less, just to show y'all what, what we're doing here. And then we'll kind of let that one, we'll kind of let that one die down here. And then once it kind of dies down, let the water get down there. Then we'll take this one and do this side here. This is all coming out of that tank right there. So the water will come down here all the way to the other end of the barn. So we're gonna head down there and see where it goes. So here we are at the end of the barn. You can see the water, it goes down into, into the basin. Both lanes empty out into this basin, and from there, we're going to head over to the sand lane. So all that water will come out here, out of that single pipe over there. It'll hit that break right there, that slows the water down. And as the water comes down this lane here, it goes all the way down to the end down there. The water will actually go to the bottom down there to that pit. All the sand will stay up here on this pad. All the sand will stay up here on this pad and we collect it, we stack it up. So this is a stack that was recently put, stacked up, and it's kind of brownish, it's still wet. Over time, that will end up washing out with the rain and the sun bleaching it and everything. And it'll end up looking more like this. It'll dry out, it'll get white, and eventually it'll look white as like beach sand. It'll start to look white as beach sand, and that is what we use to bed the cow's beds down. So that is the stuff that we will use uh, as our reclaimed sand. 
after the water goes through the sand lane that we just were at, it will come here to this solid separator. So the water will come through a pipe over to here and then all of the water and everything that's in it will go over that screen and it'll vibrate up there in the top. And any of the solid manure or anything that's left will fall out here on the cement pad. So that is just from today, all the solids. We flushed probably two or three times today. That's just from two or three flushes worth of solids that have come out of there. And then once all the water goes through the screen separator, we separate out those solids to use as fertilizer on our fields. Every week we spread that on our fields, our corn fields and everything like that because we plant our own corn as well. Uh, also, after that, the water will come down through a pipe here and then it'll come out to one of two basins. There's one of the settling basins right there. There's another one there, the smaller ponds. And then after it goes through there, it will go through. Once these small basins fill up, it'll gravity flow into this pipe and go down into the big basin. You can see how big this basin is. It's more than double the size of those two smaller basins. And once it gets down here, then as you can tell, probably, I'll zoom in, there's a floating pump out there in the middle of the lagoon. That floating pump is running right now. Let me zoom in on it. That floating pump right there is running and it is pumping water back to that big 30,000 gallon stainless steel tank that we have that we flush from. So that will be your loop that I was talking about earlier. The water that we use to clean the barn, all the affluent water goes down through the barn to the sand lane where we can reharvest the sand. And then from there, it goes to this lagoon system. The solids get separated out and all the liquid comes into this uh, lagoon. And then it gets pumped back to the beginning. So we're creating a loop. So that is everything involved with our flush system. Thank y'all very much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.